deathmatch. Yo guys, C-Dog here, coming back at you with a throwback Thursday episode, and by the way guys, this is the very, very, very final episode, I'm just going to throw that out here, and we are coming at you today with some advanced warfare, I'm just going to throw that out there, um, before we get started, I'm going to throw the obvious factors out there, if I throw in my opinion, advanced warfare was the first game for supply drops, for um, the exo movement and the concept of movement style, and the gameplay I've got coming up on you, I actually play this first game on, like, surprisingly legit. You'll see that if you stayed in closely on the gameplay of this first game on, it was a lovely 21 to 14, at least I went positive. But, yeah, um, it's also, like, the concept of you've got your gun variants as well, um, which is kind of nice to see. I, th I can't remember there's, like, a different COD did that now. I've run of my, I think, is the first COD to do the variants as well. As well as the whole customization to the character after seeing it in um, Black Ops, I am Black Ops One and COD Ghost, or like maybe the two Call of Duty's where you can customize like, like on Black Ops One you can customize the face, on Ghost it is uh, face and uniform, whereas on this you can customize your helmet separately to your uniform, as separately to your exo ability jetpack mm -hmm. or whatever if you double you double whatever you want to call it your double jump, but overall. I do genuinely like it as a uh, Call of Duty, like, to the content of what I just said, it is a positive, like, from our gameplay, it was a positive gameplay, so obviously I'm taking the fact that I played well, so I actually enjoyed it. Um, this one of them sort of Call of Duty is I could probably sit there, like, I was only for Prestige, a little 29 at the time, so I kind of think, oh, I just played it here and there. One of the sort of game I could sit there 24 7 and grind out, but I did like it. I even like the Exo Zombies, surprisingly. But, yeah. Um, I mean, even this, like, you get your exo abilities, like, what I've pulled up on the screen is your exo, I forgot what it's called, like, you can move silently as well, you've got, like, an exo cloak as well, or something like that, um, where you can use two of them, or maybe use two lethal, meaning you've got your grenades, and everything else on top, um, as you can, uh, even in the gameplay, like, with your gun variants, like I said, like, a lot of DLC game, gameplay, a lot of DLC weapons, you know, were used, I mean, as you can tell on the gameplay, I'm using an MP40, with a red dot, four grip, and advanced rifling, I think it was. Um, I can't remember, it was like one of the green variants, but I mean, it's only the basic MP40 variant, and I mean, it's the only one I actually had, but I loved it today, so I did really well with it. So, like the Speakeasy, um, the ASM, what the what's it called? The ASM, uh, one thing like that, SMG, where you get is a Speakeasy, it's like a Tommy gun, I have been wanting that since day one, I was like, <gasps> like, I do so well with that gun, but I could never get that Speakeasy, I was like, what? But that is another gun I want. I'd love to see if I could get that gun and gr I've played it once more and grinded for that gun. I'd be just, yeah, I'd be dope as fuck. I'd like these boys. I mean, even this, you got your standard supply drops and even your advanced supply drops, meaning you get more of a chance of a, a rare weapon like your standard is your blue, green, elite. And then they brought in legendary royalty. Not royalty, even legendary, or legendary, even royalty. But on your advanced ones, it goes elite, royalty, and legendary. Like them three, like your main three, like you won't really see the blue or green one. There's a rare chance you'd see the blue or green, but then bigger chance on the other ones because it's a bigger concept of what you get. Um, so I just thought for that year as well, guys. That like, is really random, but I just thought for that year. Um, uh, another decent thing I can easily throw out that I actually like is the customization of the kill tricks. The only kill trick I rocked from this gameplay was a you have. Um, I customized it to get support assist, where as you can see on the screen around now, like, every person on my team gets a kill. I get 10 points or plus 10 XP for a UAV assist. Um, as well as you can, I thought it was um, the other thing I customised was it goes through a cycle. Like even if you die, you do. Um, you could um, like if you die, you don't like have to start again. You just keep going like a support streak of mod free. That sort of example. Whereas the standard kill for UAV was three kills without dying, but having them customisation made it a full 10 kills. Without that, like, just in general, like for the entire game, to get that UAV, and it's like, I, I like them like that. It's just easy to do because I can get my kill streaks out there. I know it sounds like a newbie thing to say, but it makes my life a lot easier. Like, even just having that one you have and playing an SMG and rushing, I can get my kills. I can get my my game on. Like, I can play well, even with this MP40 set I'm using. Like even as a throwback first the episode, guys, I could easily just uh, make a, a random class setup and go through all my classes on. Advanced Warfare or any kind of like, just never wanted to, but not right now, guys. I just thought I'd throw that at you. Uh, and overall, I like the game in general. Like, it's just something I could probably recommend like, to anyone who's not played COD. I could, I could recommend it, sort of. 
Uh, I say that because the lobbies are a bit dead. Uh, it's kind of hard to find a lobby and it's just a bit chaotic as you will. Like, you have to remove the DLCs to get a lobby and then reinstall them once it registers where you can actually get a lobby in the first place, which was a recent issue I had to fix. So I, like, I somewhat recommend it to an extent, guys, but at the end of the day, if you've played it before and want to go back to it, like by all means, like, now is the time to go back to it and actually play it fresh and get in there, because even on to the lobbies what I've played, you don't really see like the high levels, like calls for maybe 3 4 year old, you don't really see anything ridiculous, like maybe myself, I might be 4th or 5th prestige, but that is like, all you're ever going to see, when you can tell, you can tell someone's played from the beginning if they're running at 4th or 5th prestige, from um, like the beginning button to anybody else who's in the lobby, you can tell like, they're newish to the game because they've fought Gate War Sheep, wait a couple of years, something like that, and maybe they're only like not quite first prestige, or maybe they're just first and max level on the first prestige, or something like that. They, they go no further than that, or maybe they're between 20 and 30, zero prestige, which all seems to be the case, unrelatedly, but seems to be the case with Black Ops 2, which I seem to be noticing. But guys, I'm gonna end it here. Be sure to smash that like button, be sure to subscribe, and as always, guys, hope you enjoyed this upcoming series. And as always, guys, this for the last episode. <coughs> <coughs> at right the end. <coughs> hope you enjoyed the series. Be sure to smash the like button. Give me a shout if you want any more series coming out on the comment section below. Until next time, guys, and finally. Good work, team. Finds the good news.